So you got about a 10 year run as a music professional. So don't let that gig go to your head. Stay tuned. So welcome back to Grooves and Motivation. It's me again, Jermaine Morgan. Some of you, this might hit you right where you are. Others of you, you might be in a different place and you ain't even on any of that. But one of the things I've noticed in my years of doing this, and I've been doing this as a professional for nearly 20 years, been playing way longer than that. But as a professional, I've been seeing uh, some of the younger up and coming musicians kind of come into the game. And as they progress, I notice their demeanor changes. And don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having confidence and knowing that you can deliver what you can deliver but the thing that i've been seeing that's kind of rubbed me the wrong way uh is the arrogance that i see from a lot of the younger cats and it's not just younger musicians sometimes this cast has been out here in the game for a while you know it's a certain arrogance and i always notice the cats who have so so-called arrived in a sense and they still walk with a certain level of humility and it's something to be said about that because once you start understanding that you're not in control of this thing. Now, you are in control of the decisions that you make, but you're not in control of what happens ultimately. If you guys checked out my video on last week, you remember I mentioned the verse in Ecclesiastes 9 and 11 about time and chance happening to us all. Like, it doesn't matter how good you are. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But a lot of what I'm seeing more and more lately in the younger generation is this idea that i'm that dude i'm gonna be that dude forever there's nothing wrong with it enjoy your moment this is your moment right now but do keep in mind that this season is gonna come to an end it's gonna come to it's inevitable and i'll say like i started this video with you have a, maybe a good 10 year run as a musician like just only on your skill your talent alone maybe 15 depending on how you play your cards how you connect how you make uh good relationships and all these different things and i know what some of you guys are saying jermaine i mean i know this cat and i know that cat they've been working for 30 40 years you're absolutely right but the cats that work on a certain level unless you get locked into that because you got really really great relationships with this artist or this producer or this music director it's very rare that you're gonna stay at the top over 10 to 15 years now it does happen from time to time with a few people who learn how to move and to navigate one of the things that i noticed with the musicians who stay at the top they're not just musicians they figured out ways to diversify for lack of better words they figured out ways to diversify their skills maybe they elevate up to a music director status maybe they elevate up to the point where they're arranging the show now programming the show with ableton they're learning how to do the management on the road that type of thing they're learning how to run the stems a lot of different things that you can get into as a musician and most of these cats aren't just showing up with their bass and playing the gig consistently killing because at some point what i've noticed people no longer care about your skill there's always somebody else who can do the job sometimes who can do it better than you in terms of skill level wise not necessarily integrity not less not necessarily your feel that you're going to bring to the gig but somebody who can just come in there and kill the gig so playing becomes irrelevant after a while and every every now and again you'll have these artists who'll decide you know i want to switch it up i want a different band and it has nothing to do with your ability to deliver on the gig has absolutely nothing to do with you showing up on time and making sure you've learned the music and doing all these things you could be doing all the stuff right dotting your eyes crossing your t's but it just comes a time sometimes where these artists just decide i don't want to do this anymore or i don't want to do this with you anymore and you know what i'm saying so now you have to rearrange your whole life it could be a church situation where you're playing a really, really good church gig or you're playing a really, really good club gig. Anything could happen. And all of a sudden, what you've been banking on for the last five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years is, is over. It's gone. So I want you guys to realize that and not have this arrogance about yourself as if you're immovable because everybody can be replaced. And if you don't think so, fool around and die. <laughs> You'll find out really quick that you can be replaced. And I think for me in my career, the older I got, you know, I kind of started as a professional in my 20s. And the older I got, I started noticing how replaceable key people were. And it really bothered me. I'm like, now, if this person can be replaced, 
what does that say about me? I mean, this key person who's like in, in a lot of situations, these people kind of started the whole thing. And if they can be replaced, what does that say about me? A person who's like a side man, so to speak, a person who's like, uh, you know, a hireling. If I'm not the CEO and the CEO can be replaced, what does it say about me? So really quick, I want to let you guys know if you're somebody who's trying to learn gospel bass and you're trying to improve your playing, your overall aggressiveness, being more aggressive, learning the different styles of music, maybe learning the hymns, maybe learning a congregational song. You might even be struggling with how to play shout music and all of that kind of stuff. If you're somebody who struggles with these types of things, I want to help you and I want to help you to grow your skills as a bass player. Not only that, if you're struggling with coming up with licks and riffs and that, those types of things, I want to help you uh, figure it out. So I encourage you to check out the link in the description below or visit JermaineMorgan.net and there I have a ton of lessons that you can uh, check out. I have a ton of courses specifically geared towards bass players who are trying trying to improve in gospel and a ton of other areas. But if that's where you need help, let me help you by visiting JermaineMorgan.net. I wanted to put something on your mind today, whether you're young, whether you're old, I want you to think about the fact you have to diversify. You have to find other ways of making your skills valuable, make yourself add value to that situation so that you're not a liability to the situation but you're more so an asset now when you become an asset people are less likely to want to replace you because you bring so much to the table so now it's time for you to start looking at what you offer not to walk around arrogant but to actually take a look at all the things you can do and all the things you can bring to that situation and i also want to encourage some of you guys who are passive to start speaking up don't assume that people know who you are or know what you can do just because you know you can do it or just because a couple of handful of people know you're good at it. You can't expect for your homie or this person or that person to speak highly about your skills. Sometimes they will. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes you'll find people who will uh, walk you in or who will talk you up and all this type of stuff. But ultimately, as a professional, you can't count on anybody else. And I hate to be the one to break that news to you, but you have to be the one who takes charge of what it is you're trying to do with your career and you're responsible for it. Because again, there's going to come a time where that phone stops ringing. I'm just telling you the truth. Unless you are driving, unless you are making yourself valuable, like uh, different things nowadays, like making yourself visible on social media, showing your value in more than one place, not just posting on Facebook, not just posting on Instagram, but allowing a different audience of people to see who you are and what you offer. Sometimes your circle, they've seen what you do and it's like, they're okay, he's cool, we like him, but we want something different. So maybe you need to find a bigger circle. Find a, a different group of people who you can share these set of skills with so that people can realize what it is you bring to the table. And I talk about some of this in my book, 10 Ways to Success for you guys uh, who want to check this out. I'll put the link in the description below so you can check this book out. Uh, but it'll give you some ideas and some things you can do, I believe, to diversify your skills as a musician so that you can have longevity. And instead of having 10 to 15 years, you can have 15, 20, 30, 40 years as a musician, but you're not putting all of your eggs in one basket. Before I go, there's this verse I want to leave with you guys. Proverbs 16 and 3, commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. So whatever it is you're trying to do, commit that to God. Work as if God himself is the one you're going to present this thing to. 
And whatever you're trying to do, if you commit your work to God, your plans will be established. But if you leave him out of it, and then I don't know what kind of ending you're going to end up with. So I encourage you, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I encourage you to do that now. If you want to know more about it, send me a message at Jermaine at JermaineMorgan.net. I will be more than happy to talk to you about how to do that. And I know for some of you guys, you're like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, absolutely. I want to share with you uh, how you can know him better and how he can help your whole career because it is no career without him involved in it. So remember, commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. Again, guys, this is Jermaine Morgan. I appreciate you for hanging out with me today. If you found this helpful, be sure to hit that like and share button. Also, if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on my bell notification so you know when I post stuff just like this. And also you can catch me when I go live. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys again and I'm out. Peace.